Hello everyone. It's been a while since we've taken a look at one of the most popular cases on my channel and that is of baby Totu. And it's been a while because honestly, it seemed like nothing was really changing in Totu's situation. Well, kind of. More recently, people have been commenting all over Canole's social media, where is Totu? Because it seemed like Totu had disappeared and she was not being posted anymore and that really concerned people. And the content that was being posted about Totu seemed like old reposts that were being marketed as current videos. But Totu seems to be back and healthier than ever. So I wanted to take a dive back into Totu's story and chat with you all about some of the more recent posts that have been made about Totu and just talk about everything that's happened over the last few months. But first, let me give you a refresh on who Totu is. Two-year-old baby Totu, aka a son, was born in the country of Azerbaijan and went viral on TikTok after her mother took her to a shelter called House of Love. The woman that runs the shelter is named Kanol and would take in and seemingly adopt little Totu and would begin to post video after video of little Totu that brought a lot of questions and concerns after this video was released of Totu just standing there looking shell-shocked. Now, Knoll has always seemed to post videos and photos of children at her shelter, and also videos and photos of children that she doesn't even know that she just ripped off the internet. But there has been a lot of controversy about Knoll's shelter, House of Love, because there seems to be articles and there seemed to have been an actual investigation where she was being investigated for torture. There were so many videos and photos of children who look to be in very bad condition. A little girl actually escaped from there and ended up telling her story of what happened to her. It was a big mess, but Knoll denied every single allegation against her. But the shelter never really seemed to shut down because Totu was still always there and she was posting more than ever. And she had excuse after excuse for why Totu's condition was going so downhill over the months. She went from a seemingly happy, smiling baby with thick hair to an unsure, terrified toddler with ball spots and the internet was outraged. Yet, yeah, Knoll blame medical conditions and the Western media for blowing it out of proportion. And I've seen people say that anyone that's concerned about Totu has a white saver complex, which I think is wildly inaccurate. Now, do I think that all of the allegations and theories of what's happening to Totu and what's happening at the shelter are correct? No, of course not. But I think there's a collective agreement that something icky is going on here. And some of those allegations stem from men flying across the world to visit children, including Totu, at this shelter that's supposed to be for battered women and children, which makes no sense why you'd have men flying across the country to visit these women and children who you think would be terrified. And Totu seems to be left alone with these men that fly across the world to see her and bring her gifts. Theories from everything from that to theories of SA to DV type situations. And I wish we could all say 100% that Totu is happy and healthy. But I think the fact that Canole, who has child torture allegations against her, would post children in the states that they were where they look battered and bruised and unhappy and numb and there's just like no light in their eyes, that she'd post content like this and see nothing wrong with it. It really makes me wonder what is going on behind closed doors if she thinks this is normal. And it really makes me wonder if anything will ever really be done because it seems that Kunal allegedly has ties to the government and like the Azerbaijan government in general and people in power can get away with a lot more than the average person. And that is very scary in my opinion. Now, I would rather be wrong about all of this and sit here and talk to you all about it and be wrong at the end of the day than to be right and to have stayed quiet. Now, if you wanna dive even deeper into the backstory of all this, I definitely recommend watching my hour long deep dive I did on Totu's situation. I really tried to play devil's advocate and be reasonable about everything, but there's just some things that are so questionable. Now, things seem to stay quiet for quite a while with the whole situation after it blew up on social media. But then things stirred up again when Totu seemed to have gone missing completely off of social media. She'd be gone for weeks, come back, be gone again. On one hand, I'm really happy that they finally stopped shoving the camera in her face 24 seven. And it seems that the story now is, is that Totu is with her family and with her mother. And I really hope that's the case if she is happy and healthy there. But the scary thing really is that Totu could be anywhere at any time and we will never know. We may never know the truth. But I wanna go back a couple months from when I last posted my original video on this. And I wanna go over some of the posts that were made from then until now and let's chat about them a bit. Now, most of these are on the shelter's Instagram. Going back to March of this year, just after I finished researching and doing my deep dive, it seems like the post about Totu really slowed down and it does seem like Totu had started to get better in a way, especially after that horrible video of her looking shell-shocked. 
but a vast majority of the post from then on seem to kind of be reposts. We have this one on March 4th of Totu as a baby when she first came to the shelter. Interestingly enough, Knoll also reposted a TV interview of her. Totu's in the video, but her face has been blurred for some reason. Now there's no translation with this, so I'm not 100% sure what is actually being said here. Aysun Mürselva'nın anasından mövzuyla bağlı açıqlama almaq istedik ki, yəni bu iddia nə qədər həqiqəti əks etdirir və bildiyim qədərinlə siz özünüz də evladınız... But Knoll did seem to caption it. In the caption, she's yelling at Kamala, who is another activist there, who is fighting against Knoll for Totu's safety. And she's yelling at Kamala, essentially questioning her intentions and saying that she turned Totu away and her mother so that Kanol had to take them in. She then says Totu's been given medical help. So that's a whole another argument. The next post of Totu is also another post where Totu's face isn't being shown, which is cool if this was a normal social media mom who didn't want to show her child's face anymore, but that's not what this is. In March, we also have two videos in a row of Totu outside of the shelter, which is pretty rare, honestly. We never really seen Totu outside much. She seems to normally be filmed inside the shelter walls. And she honestly seems more like a normal toddler in this video at the grocery store. She's touching things, she's looking around, she's not just standing there looking unsure and questioning if she should even move. Although I'm pretty sure this is a post shell shock video because her hair is still pretty thin here and she still looks kind of stressed. There's this look of stress on her face. During this time, they also ended up getting a white puppy at the shelter and you can see Kunal playing with it quite often in videos. But then we have videos like this that people question, which are thought to be reposts as well because Totu is wearing the same yellow pants and jacket we've seen before. She seems to be in the same outfits quite often for like multiple days in a row. And in these videos, Totu never seems to be part of the fun, which these are classic Totu videos that upset people. And we see this with a lot of videos of other children as well that were at the shelter where they're just standing there looking unsure, not sure what to do. They don't play like normal kids. And this comment that a person named Stephanie made really points out something I think is important saying, and I quote, Sevgi, if you post videos like these where Totu literally looks miserable and isn't included, then people are going to respond negative. If you want positive responses, then let's see a post where Totu is engaged playing with other kids and toys and is actually laughing and having a good time. Try not to make it look forced and her trying to constantly blow you a kiss, end quote. And that's the thing. There are just so many videos of Totu not looking happy and just standing there while the other kids are running around playing that it upsets people and it makes people question what the hell is going on here. If Totu was fine, if she was happy, why aren't there more videos of her running around and playing? Why would you post these videos where she looks in distress? It just doesn't make sense that this is the content you'd wanna put out. You'd think you'd wanna put out content of her being happy. It's like, why post videos of Totu looking miserable and upset other than to get views and clout from them? Like, why are you using a toddler to do this? And then it brings up this whole other situation that people are talking about right now of human trafficking. Um, there seems to be these cases of people, especially on TikTok, where they're being forced to do like live TikTok videos for hours and hours and hours to make money. And it makes people question um, because Kanol has done this with Totu where she goes live with Totu in front of the camera, makes her dance, do all this other stuff. It makes people wonder if that's what's going on here where they're making Totu dance for money on TikTok and doing all these posts and videos of her blowing kisses and doing all of this for money. That, that's essentially it. Uh, obviously it's a legend though. Honestly, if there had never been that video of Totu looking shell-shocked, I don't think her story and her case would have blown up as much as it did. There's a lot of people saying that the whole reason these children are being posted online are for donations, even though there's no children actually at the shelter anymore. So it's basically like an alleged fraud scheme. They're basically trying to make clickable shock content for people to click on it and feel bad and send money. And if that's the case, I mean, it worked. Because clearly Kunal posts tons of videos of her daughter Nur looking happy and playing and laughing. So why are there so many more videos of Totu looking unhappy than her looking happy? Like it's extremely rare that you'd see a video of Kunal's daughter looking unhappy. So it's honestly just like, why would you post these videos of Totu standing around looking unhappy, pacing back and forth with all these children running around playing it's just odd and it's sad. Now this post really actually surprised me because Knoll always says that Totu's mother is at the shelter or that 
Totu is with her mother. And in this video, Kanol and a large group of children are on an outing. You can clearly see Totu is in the arms of her mother in the red dress. Later on in the video, Totu was put in the arms of this strange man who's holding her and she just has this straight face the entire time. She does not look comfortable with this man. So clearly it seems that Totu's mother is still in her life to some capacity if she doesn't actually have her. But that makes me wonder then, did Kanol not adopt Totu? Because the whole narrative was that Totu couldn't be adopted because Kanol had adopted her and her mother wasn't there anymore, but then her mother was there and now her mother has her again. And normally people don't adopt a child and then give them back to the parent. It's odd. But that makes me wonder though, is if Totu's mother has been around this whole time, is she the one consenting to all these videos being made of her daughter. Is she part of this whole conspiracy of these videos being put out and posted? It's, it's confusing, but it makes me question things. I also seen people saying that it seems like Totu is now with her family, but she gets brought back to the shelter to make content. And that's why there's all of these videos where she's wearing the same outfit for a long period of time. Now here we have some more old reposts of Totu from TikTok in April and more of these strange eating videos where she looks unsure again that we talked about in the original video. You know, even when Totu's in a swing, she looks unhappy, which isn't a normal child. And you know, there's a lot of people out there that say that Totu was traumatized before she was brought to the shelter. And that's why she has all these issues and that mile long stare and all these medical problems. That just doesn't make sense in my opinion because if you see videos of Totu as a baby, we seen her on an actual television show as a baby. Um, and there's tons of content of Totu as a baby as well. She looks happy and healthy and they're, I mean, you can't physically see things wrong with people sometimes, but it just doesn't make sense to me logically that she went from being like that as a baby where she had the same issues to where she was when she looked traumatized. And that would also mean then that all of the other children that are out the shelter have the same issues. You know, as a baby, she was laughing and smiling and she started talking and then she lost her speech and she seemed to regress. And we usually see that a lot with trauma. Now here in May, we have a TikTok repost of Kanol, her daughter and Totu dancing. Again, Totu doesn't seem to be engaged. And this is really random, but in some posts she seems to be blurring children's faces and others she's not. Again, she totally has the right to do so. I'm just curious what the difference is and why she's doing it. Here we have another repost where Totu is younger. And again, you can see how much she was talking back then to compare to now where she's completely silent a lot of the time. Kanol finally spoke out in May to all of us in a post of Totu in English where she says, and I quote, we are not interested in what you think about us. We are interested in our thoughts, love house, end quote. And her caption translates to, and I quote, our way is with those who have light in their hearts, end quote. At the end of May, we have videos of Totu scribbling and having a picnic in the courtyard. And I was wondering if these videos are newer videos or they're just reposts too, but I couldn't figure that out really. You know, in the next video, Totu's wearing the same outfit, but has a different hairstyle and Kanol has Totu out with her daughter. Again, I don't know if it's the theory that her mom's dropping her off there to make content for a couple days and they don't leave her with much clothes. So she's just wearing the same thing for a couple days straight or they just changed her hairstyle halfway through the day and posted these videos, you know, apart from each other. So it seems like different days. The next day we have yet another video of Totu in the same outfit again, but again, another hairstyle. Another thing that's weird about Totu wearing the same outfit over and over again is that children a lot of the time get dirty or spill things on themselves. So you usually have to change them quite often, but it doesn't seem that Totu needs to be. A comment I seen about Totu in the swing by this person named Alicia really said what I was thinking when I watched this video. And she says, and I quote, I've never seen a child so emotionless on a swing. It's scary, end quote. Girl, I agree. She's just so emotionless and it's weird. It, children aren't supposed to be like that. The next video of Totu, Kanol is using her and her daughter to wave flags for some political video. After that, it's a video that feels very propaganda-y to me of Kanol handing out bags to the children who are standing in the line and making them wave to the camera. It's very stiff. It seems very staged and we see a lot of these videos be posted. In June, there is a video of Totu laying on the floor doing what some people are calling exercise moves, but a lot of people did not like this video. Honestly, I think there's a million things you can infer from this video, just as a lot of the videos of Totu doing strange things that people question. I just don't think it's as blatant in this video as some of the other videos, but it's still, I feel you can go either way with it. It could just be a little kid moving around on the floor. Other people think it could be more, but it does seem like Kanol may be directing Totu to do these motions um, or whoever's behind the camera, but 
that's just an assumption. Now, after that, we have more reposts of previous content days of Totu and Kanol's daughter. Totu looks like she's been in a better mood in some of these, which I'm glad. There's also an IG story posted where Totu looks happy. You know what? At the end of the day, all I want is for this little girl to be happy. I just want Totu to be happy, whether that be with Kanol or her family, whatever it is, where she's not being harmed and she's happy. But in June, we also have this other video Kanol posted of her son playing with the children in the home and again Totu is just standing there it's so strange why isn't she running around with the other kids and playing why doesn't she know what to do it's just I don't know it just it's weird and these are the kind of videos where I'm like what is going on here because then we have videos like this one at the end of June where Totu's talking which I was shocked because we haven't seen a video of her talking like this since she was little yeah oh my oh so it kind of gives me some hope that things are going uphill for Totu, or at least I hope they are. But I say that and then I get contradicted again by other posts because all of the next videos are again, really old pre posts of Totu. And then there's ones where she looks older again, but again, she's quiet and not smiling while other children are around. Now, some of the new content of Totu as I'm recording this our videos of Totu smiling and looking happy, which is good. You know, she's seeming to have fun, but people in the comments were saying that some of these videos might be old, so I'm not sure what to think about any of that. She seems to be a little bit more normal in these. Now, a theory I did wanna talk about is this whole theory that the only reason Totu has gotten better is because after that video of her looking traumatized was posted and shell-shocked, this case went viral. Totu's story went viral and Kanol allegedly might have gotten scared and realized that she needed to start treating Totu better. And right after that is, you know, when Totu started to look healthier again and start playing again. Not all the time though, obviously, but her hair did start getting thicker again. And I wanted to actually talk about her hair thing for a moment because I did a lot of thinking about it. We always wondered why Totu's hair was the way it was. And I am wondering if it's because of stress possibly and her pulling her own hair out. When people have anxiety or stress, they pull at their hair and then, you know, it causes thinning. And possibly now she's not as stressed out anymore. So her hair is growing back. Obviously we don't know, but it's an interesting theory to think about. But it does seem from the narrative now that Totu has left the shelter and is living with her mother and family, meaning that this miraculous change could have something to do with that as well. Now, Conspiracy Barbie, who has been covering Totu's case since the beginning, pointed this out in a more recent video as well. So I'll play that for you now. So to all the people who were fooled and thought Kanol had a change of heart and she was taking really good care of Totu now, um, according to someone who visited, that's just because she's living with her family now and visits Kanol. The mom cured all her medical problems overnight, which would mean it was Kanol doing all that. Because look at the difference since she's been with her mom. This was before, and this has been since she's been with her mom. Whole, full head of hair, not underweight, talks more, laughs more, gets to leave the shelter, isn't pale, sickly looking, on live, dancing, meeting men, meeting influencers. So that's why it's at least a little tiny bit better if she's with the mom and she gets some privacy. So yeah, as Kel said, it's a night and day change. She's also pointed out in some of her more recent videos that you can see Kanol's daughter filming Totu, but these videos are never posted online from what we can see. So there's this big question and theory of why is Noor taking these videos? Who is she filming them for if she's not filming them for herself and the family? Are these videos being used for secret fans of Totu if you're getting my drift? It's definitely questionable after everything we know. It could be something innocent or it could be something sinister, which seems to be this entire case. Now, before we get into some closing stuff, I did want to talk about another big thing that happened more recently. And that is that Kanol openly invited Conspiracy Barbie, AKA Kells, to go to Azerbaijan and visit the House of Love shelter. So I'm gonna play some of that drama now. Hi Kanol, sorry I never saw your um, message. I, I've checked my DMs like once since Bashi because of all the but you know, that, in theory, that sounds great. I would love to do that. That sounds like really fun, actually, when you put it that way. It sounded like you wanted me to do like content and lives while I was there. Um, if I go there with the intent of filming and posting, that is participating in human trafficking. So I, I can't, it's kind of a gray area. You know, if I don't have a child, I, m I might consider it. But the fact is several people in Baku and um, 
it's just not it's not safe i mean you haven't been the most forthcoming honest person on the planet so how do i know that everything you've just said is true we don't we don't speak the same language i can't ask you things like hey why'd you tell me toto was in a 16-day coma hey where's sarah um and we all know you can put on a show you've done it for that other influencer you're doing it now and something i do find really odd about this is if this is a shelter that's supposed to be for battered women and children that has allegedly not been shut down for you know all of these allegedly bad reasons that were posted why is canole inviting not only men to come visit the children there but why is she inviting random people from around the world to come to this shelter as if it's a hotel. In my opinion, that's odd. But either way, thankfully Kells isn't going to go there. In my opinion, I think that's a major safety hazard, especially to go to a country that's on a no-fly list, to meet people that are doing questionable things that have ties to the government that could possibly twist things as you, you, you kind of get where I'm going here. It could be a potentially really bad situation. People have gone missing doing less. But Kells has brought up a lot of interesting things and theories and evidence. So I definitely recommend going and checking her out if you want to get a little deeper into things as well. I'd actually possibly like to do a video talking about some of her theories and some of the evidence she has found on other things that aren't directly related to Totu herself. So let me know if you'd be interested in something like that. Now I do try to be as unbiased as I can, but I do have a lot of questions and concerns here still. Honestly, I don't really know from looking at social media where Totu could be if she's still at the shelter under Canole's control or if she is with her family and they're still bringing her into that situation. It honestly could be neither of those situations. And it's honestly all speculation at this point because we don't know. We don't know. It's really hard to get a marker on what's new content and what's old content. And honestly, I, I don't know what to think. On one hand, there's the people that say that the charges were dropped against the shelter and that the people came out and the children that came out were lying, which honestly, at the end of the day, I hope to hell that that would be the truth for only the mere sake that these children were not actually being abused. That's the last thing that I'd ever want is for children to actually have been abused. That this is just some big misunderstanding, we're all wrong, that would be the best case scenario. But then it makes me go back to why would strange men fly across the world to go visit a little girl and bring her presents? Why post the video of Totu being shell-shocked? Why was she in that state to begin with? Why are there so many claims of medical conditions that Totu has that contradict each other and contradict what we see in videos of her? Why did Totu go from being happy, healthy looking, smiling, talking to the state that she did? Why did she end up so emotionless and traumatized? It just doesn't add up for me. What happened to Totu and these other children that it's such a big secret that it feels as if we're being gaslit? It's all just so strange. Again, I really hope at the end of the day that we are all wrong. Nothing has happened and nothing is continuing to happen to these children and that they are all happy and that they are all safe. That is what I want at the end of the day. I think that's what we all want. But what I do want to know is how you all feel about the continuance of the situation. It seems that things have gotten better for her, thankfully, and I hope they continue like that and when she gets older she can come out and tell everyone what actually is the truth but for now i'm going to leave this all in your hands and i want to know how you all feel about these new updates so let's have a chat about all of this new information below if you're not subscribed i definitely recommend you hit that subscribe button it allows me to continue to create content like this and talk about stories like this and spread the word on cases like this if you have any cases you want me to look into leave them down below and i will look into them and with that i hope you all stay safe out there lock your windows and doors and i will see you in the next video